Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilke Jan Wiersma and I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands. And yes, just to set a tone, I really am not looking forward to making this video. <laughs> I know it's not a start of a video if you are a YouTuber, not a good start. I think, but yeah, it's, it is really the truth because I need to uh, move uh, all of these fails and some of them next to me and the cymbidiums down here, those are not in frame now. This big plant needs to go, my bird of paradise, I found a new home for it, so it's not coming back. And that's a good uh, thing, it's just a bit too big here, but anyhow, I need to... Uh, move all the fails and I also need to move this uh, very large dendrobium chrysanthemum, the orange type. So yeah, I need to do quite a lot of work. But why? And I, uh, like I said, really doesn't, uh, do not look forward uh, to it. But why? Well, uh, our house um, is getting uh, insulated on Tuesday. And I'm filming this on Sunday, the day that I did uh, upload my What's in Bloom video for the month of February. So uh, this will be on next Sunday. But um, so to give you a bit of time perspective, I'm now uh, just, I'm still filming in February. And this Tuesday, so the last day of February, we uh, will get have, um, do get the house uh, insulated. And that's a good thing, of course, because it helps. But our house is very cold these days, so we, th we hope it will help to keep the warmth inside of the house and keep the cold outside of the house. But yeah, as you can uh, pro probably imagine, this greenhouse is built uh, on the outside of the house, of course. So therefore, these walls need the, that foam that I use for the uh, insulation as well. Otherwise, it wouldn't work, of course, if they only uh, that put that foam in on the outside, it will run into this area of walls and it, it will not get as high. It needs to cover the whole house, of course, the whole wall of uh, walls, I need to say. We have an outer wall and an inner wall and in between those two, the foam will come. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a good thing, like I said, but the bad thing is that I need to move my uh, wall of files. Just when they started to bloom and they're still starting to bloom. I have quite some buds and spikes that need to grow, buds that need to grow and to open up. So this is not a perfect um, time of year to do this. But yeah, I have to do it. I will do one by one and I will show it, but I will speed it up, of course. Otherwise we will be here for a very long time. And I have some shelving over there. My Miltonias I will film later on that need to be moved as well because there's a bit of a wall as well, so that needs the foam. So yeah, it's a task. And I'm going to try to save every single bot, every single spike out there. But I, sh yeah, I should say wish me luck because it's, it's a heck of a job. And there are some of them that uh, did grow the aerial roots onto the wall. They are re really attached to the wall and I need to break those off. So I will show you how much damage I did on the, on the end of this video. I have no idea, but I saw a few. Uh, but yeah, it needs to happen. They need to go. So that's it and done. Uh, this, is, uh, this is enough for the intro. I need to do a lot of stuff. So um, before I start, I quickly show you the setup inside of the grow room because there are most of them going. A few of them will be hung over here, but most of them need to uh, spend a few nights inside of the uh, orchid grow room, which is not a problem which is actually beneficial, so they have not uh, much of a change uh, in, in climate and temperature-wise, and, and light uh, as well, so that's a good thing, but yeah. Uh, let me show that, and then I will uh, start uh, with moving them. It needs to be done. So yeah, all of these guys, like I said, need to go, and also uh, a little bit in this corner, because they need, they need to reach that area as well and I don't want them to break these spikes. So these orchids will move and some uh, carnivore plants over here will be moved as well. I, I, I'm thinking to put them uh, inside of uh, next to these orchids. Maybe I will move them to the side and I think I have enough room here for those orchids and those few carnivore plants. 
let's go inside of the grow room, the orchid room. And it happened to be that for a project inside of the home, I needed these panels as well. I have two of these panels hanging here. <laughs> So yeah, I'm sort of uh, creating a temporary wall here and I did move some arcus over here with those long spikes. They are here. It's a little bit sad, but yeah, they needed to be uh, moved. I did water them so they can, uh, I, I need to water them on Wednesday, the, the day after. So that's, uh, that's my watering day for the plants in cell watering. I do the vendors on Saturday, but that's uh, not important for now. I. Uh, so yeah, I did uh, created this wall, temporary wall, and that's very handy because all my fells with the pots have uh, hooks in them. So I should be able to uh, hang them on here fairly, uh, fairly easily. So, and I hope I have enough room for the rest of them. Well, uh, like I said, we uh, will still start and I will film this uh, when I'm done. It will be uh, very different then. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm sorry I missed a little part of uh, the video because my battery died. So I have quite a few to still to do. So that's uh, uh, why you don't see every plant moved, <laughs> even though it's uh, speeded up a little bit. But uh, yeah, my battery died. But anyhow, let's continue. Teacher said, close your eyes, think positive, think at your end goal, which is plan gone in this case, and do the trick. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, sim salabim. And then take a deep breath and open your eyes. What? Am I going to see now, you guys? It worked. Plant is gone. Of course, it's my magic stick. So don't tell anybody because I know where you live. Yes, you guys. <laughs> Does this look, this look different? It's very, very empty. But yeah, that was uh, the plan, of course. So yeah, I think they have enough uh, space now and they uh, cannot, at least not break any spikes of the plants that uh, were here before and down here and this is obviously a beautiful opportunity to do to do some spring cleaning so i will do that but first i uh, let the construction workers do their thing they uh, might leave some uh, dust uh, down here on the floor because they need to drill the holes in to get the foam in so i'm not going to clean anything now i'm going to cover things up of obviously because of the dust but i still need the heaters so they will stay until uh, Tuesday and then I will Tuesday morning and then I will put them away. But yeah, <laughs> I hope this never will happen again. It's empty. <laughs> it's not nice. But yeah, and I think that I leave those here on the door. This wall doesn't need doing, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't put the plants there. But um, yeah, we have some plants, as you saw earlier in the video, over here and you may ask yourself the question why hang these plants here and the ones that were hanging here put those on the shelf like this like like a step for example well that is because most of my fails as you can see are hanging almost next to the pot so they are uh, top heavy 
and that's why I cannot put them on a shelf anymore because I uh, grow them obviously like this. I let them hang. But yeah, you can see this one is uh, barely inside of that pot anymore. So yeah, that's why I needed to uh, have these hung uh, until uh, they can put back in their place. Have these hang, I think. Um, but anyhow, so that's why uh, those are here. Let's have a look inside of the green uh, orchid room, I'm sorry. And it's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> but I think we did perfect, perfectly well because I do not have much space left here. So, but yeah, look at the blooms. It's like there are even more blooms now because they are somewhat closer to one another. So, so many different colors. And then there are still some people who do not like fails. I don't understand. I don't understand. They are so beautiful. And there are so, so many varieties out there. So many colors. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And so far, I think I had about seven or eight that I needed to break some roots from. It's this purple one. That one had the most. So I did cut those off. Maybe you saw it, but I had the video spit up. Uh, spit up. <laughs> speed up i'm sorry uh, <laughs> so i did cut some roots maybe you saw that in the video but anyhow beautiful beautiful and here is that gigantic dendrobium i was talking about this one has a cakey here that's still on the plant and it had another one very teeny tiny cakey but i think that one did break off because i couldn't hold those parts and hold also the pot and watch the roots and the cane so yeah i sacrificed probably one of the cakeys maybe it's somewhere still on there we will see uh, when it's uh, back to her place but now we can do a really close up and look at this beauty this is already uh, when it starts to bloom it already starts to make a new growth like we discussed in the, in that video, but um, that's why this one uh, doesn't get any winter rest or whatsoever. But look at the roots. So yeah, that's fun of this moving. So we can have uh, really some close-ups at plants we normally don't don't have as close in in frame. And like I said, this is my chrysanthemum, but I'm curious to see what kind of date I have a repotting date. 2018 I had it before that probably two years before already I'm not sure I have it in my notes but in this pot I repotted into this pot in 2018 so that is about five years already almost no uh, four and a half it was in September so more than four years inside of this pot and i am not thinking about moving this one that would be a crazy repot but this one is still going strong putting out area roots some roots did do find uh, the pot and you can see i was using only leca back in those days and this one uh, doesn't mind it at all but yeah i'm not gonna repot it it does have more space and it it's not really, ha it, uh, yeah, basically has no, no rhizomore whatsoever. So it can stay in this pot for, uh, for hopefully quite some years. I'm just going to leave it. And then a fairly new one, Anosman, Dendrobian Anosman. And this one is budding. So we can now have a nice close up at the buds. I think they are all still on the plant. I tried my best to save them all. So. So yeah, this is a, uh, a little uh, update in between. So yeah, it's a beautiful view, I think. <laughs> Impossible to keep it like this, of course, because I cannot reach the plants in the back there, but I like the vision so far. So yeah, for a few days, you guys, and then you are going back to uh, your original place, of course, inside of the greenhouse. Okay, so it is now Tuesday and this was the day where they put the foam in 
and uh, they are done. It's a little bit uh, done earlier than expected, so that's good news, of course. Personally, I was expecting to put my plans back at Wednesday, that would be tomorrow. But like I said, they finished uh, early uh, in this afternoon, so now I can finally put my plans back. And that is, I think, the best part of this video. Um, I also, I already did the spring cleaning a little bit here, but I didn't film it because I think it's not very interesting to see. But yeah, the fun part, of course, will be uh, to put the plans back. But before I do that, uh, I did a little bit of filming while they were uh, drilling holes, but it was very loudy and, uh, um, of course, a, little, a lot of noise, so I didn't film, uh, film much. Um, and I also filmed a little bit of the foam itself. Uh, uh, around the windows of the house and they explained uh, that obviously uh, everywhere the foam uh, does get out uh, outside of the wall means there was a hole so you can imagine how much air exchange uh, we had uh, especially in winter months with the cold air in between the walls so I think this is a very good investment for this house because the house was fairly cold. And like I said, with all those holes uh, throughout the walls in, in, um, on the house, it was getting very cold. And we all know, of course, it does get very expensive. So yeah, I hope now we will have, uh, can keep the warmth more inside of the house. And like I said earlier in this video, keep the, the cold outside. But yeah, that's, uh, we will see. It's just now, uh, it takes about two days to really get the foam dry and then it, it already should, uh, should work. So who knows? But anyhow, um, yeah, I'm going to uh, put my plants back. I will water them uh, while I have them uh, in my hands. I will do that in the orchid room. I will not film it. So I have quite a bit of editing to do and I will speed it up a little bit, of course, because otherwise we will be here way too long. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, let's start this job. And uh, like I said, I'm really looking forward uh, to putting them back because this is way too, uh, too cold, too empty. I need planes. So let's start this uh, next stage of this journey. <laughs> Yeah, finally I can say the job is done. As you can see, the plants are back. Well, most are uh, uh, right around the same uh, spot they were already growing in. I changed a few, like these mini valves, so I can uh, reach them a little bit easier. And at least this one is fragrant, so yeah, I like to uh, smell the fragrance. It was up uh, against the roof, but anyhow, they are back on the wall. And I think that they didn't... Uh, noticed much of the change because it was only uh, they were only going inside of the orchid room but still uh, they may 
show some signs, but I think it will be okay. And also, I think I didn't break any bot, I didn't break any spike or bloom. Uh, probably a few roots did snap, and one actually did uh, fall off. So, with that amount of hustling around <laughs> with the plant, I think one root, one loss uh, is okay. Oh, and um, I think my big dendrobium. Uh, I might lost one of the keikis that was just starting. I think I did shop it off. I couldn't find it anymore. So yeah, I think it, it's gone. But yeah, that's that's a very minor as well. And that plant was very difficult to handle, uh, as you probably saw in the video. But we did it. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm very, very, very happy that uh, it's done and the plants can go back. It looks so beautiful. It's it's absolutely smashing to be here. If you ask me, it's always personal, of course, but the fells are so beautiful. I did mention that I'm soon going to make a video about them, about all of them, because there are so many blooms. And I was pl planning on doing that uh, upcoming Sunday, but it will be a little bit later or on a different day. But I think it's nice to do it on a Sunday. Sunday is a very good um, day for me to put a video out because it's it's uh, those videos will uh, be watched uh, quite quite often quite much do get a lot of views i should say uh, but while i was uh, working with the plants here and uh, cleaning up etc maybe you noticed it but we did hit the 1k subscribers 1000 subscribers to my channel which is amazing it's absolutely amazing it's uh, it's absolutely a milestone so i just want to say thank you to all of you guys who are supporting my channel yeah it's i just cannot find the words it means the world to me and i really love making these videos and especially now where my channel is growing i never had the plan to make this a very large channel just to have some fun just to share uh, how i grow my orchids i never s will say this is the way you should grow them it's just how I grow them. You may get inspired uh, with them. You may just like the blooms that I have, that I uh, show in my uh, blooming updates or other stuff around, or you may be interested in the inorganic media that I use, etc. It's just uh, just a bit of fun, but but still uh, growing the channel, yeah, it, it means a heck of a lot for me. So thank you so, so much. And to um, show my gr gratitude, <laughs> To, uh, to you all of you guys, I will plan a, a giveaway, uh, my first official giveaway on this channel, which I'm really looking forward to, but I have to uh, figure out a few things out before I really can make that video. And obviously I was in the middle of making this video, uh, but I have it planned for, for uh, coming Sunday. So if you are interested in, in, in winning a prize, you might uh, want to watch the next uh, Sunday's video as well. And talking about the prizes, I have a prize. I will have quite a nice big prize available here in the European Union because I'm from the Netherlands, so I can ship. Uh, uh, I can ship in the, in the European Union, and I will ship at least one plant of my collection. So you may want to win uh, that plant. Uh, but I also have a uh, prize available in the U.S. So if you're from America, uh, because a lot of subscribers are from the uh, America as well, um, I have a price for there, uh, there uh, available as well. I'm going to uh, get way more in the details in the next video, because that's an amazing story how that price uh, did um, enter my, uh, my videos, actually my, my, uh, my life basically. Uh, but I will uh, talk about it uh, in the next video. So I will have two prizes available uh, one more time in the US and also in the European Union. Of course, I know there are more viewers not living in those uh, areas, in those continents. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how I could uh, send you a prize. So I, I apologize. I try to reach as many people as I can but I never can uh, can reach everybody. So I apologize if you are subscribed to my channel and you are not living in, in America or in the uh, European Union. I really apologize. Uh, I did think a lot about uh, something that I can give to you. And the only thing that I can come up with now is maybe a special requested video. Um, but also I know I always say on the end of my videos, or basically always say, if you have any requests, please let me know in the comment section below. But still, 
if I, I can do something for you in that area, I, I would love to. So uh, please let me know if you want, uh, if you have a special request because you uh, cannot win the prize. Or maybe you have an idea, um, another idea that I didn't think of. Uh, I'm open to uh, too much, so let, uh, let me know in the comment section. So that uh, will be an uh, upcoming uh, video, so therefore the files have to wait a little bit longer. And actually that's not bad because I still have a few that are, haven't uh, opened yet. They are about to open up the, the blooms, so they have a little bit more time. And then they may have, an, oh, they may need a, about two weeks, so that's, that's, I think that's fine. So I'm planning then um, uh, to do that video. Uh, maybe next Sunday. Obviously, I need to have another video where I announce the winners, but we will see. It will be uh, soon here. Then, uh, obviously, I wanted to let you know where that big uh, bird of par paradise went. And um, I did discover that it suddenly appeared in my aunt's house. And I have a picture for you guys. It suddenly appeared for her beautiful window, where it does get uh, quite a few uh, bits of sunlight, as you can see. And I think it has quite some room to grow, and I think it's going to be very happy there. Obviously, it will get a, a lot of love of my aunt, so uh, it probably will uh, start uh, growing better than it is here. It just wasn't fitting in uh, nicely, so therefore uh, I needed to uh, to get a new home and she's actually subscribed to my channel so thank you so much for taking care of that beautiful plant and actually i had no idea but it was a plant that she had on her wish list and i don't know why but i suddenly had a feeling to ask her so i did it out of the blue i said i have a very large bird of paradise and i think you may be interested to uh, to, to own that plant to uh, to get it uh, as a gift and she said, well, actually, and she told the story why uh, she uh, liked this plant so much. And uh, so she said, yeah, for years I'm basically looking for that plant, but I wanted to have a nice size. So I'll, as you saw, it's quite a, quite a nice size. It's very, fairly big already. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm very happy. I'm re really very happy that plant uh, went to her and it has a new good home there. So I wanted to add it in, uh, obviously, as well. And I think I now did covered basically everything. It's a bit, uh, um, an, an almost a little bit messy video for me. I need to do a lot of editing or I, I had done it uh, at the time you see this, of course, but uh, I will try to make it uh, as smoothly as I can. But there was a lot of going on here and I had a lot of footage, so I hope I did well. Uh, please let me know um, about in the comments what you think about this video. If you have any requests, of course, like we discussed earlier, please let me know as well. And to all the subscribers, and we ha I had quite a, a, a few new subscribers actually. Thank you so much. It, it, like I said, it means the world to me. So that's said and done uh, for now. I really hope to see you at my next video, which will be on Wednesday. I will have another reporting video. And then uh, Sunday we have a very, very important yeah, important special day. We're going to have a bit of a party here. So I hope to see you at uh, both of those videos. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.